Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here, and we have yet another update from BSG on the big high-end armors getting further buffs. This time we have the Class 6 Zabralo moving from 85 in-game durability to 120, which is really quite a lot, the Class 6 Thor Integrated Carrier getting up from 75 to 90, and the Samurai Armor, the Fort Reduct T5, going from 100 to 120. As a reminder, we only just had an increase in the Thor from 75 from 55 the other day, so overall this guy has been buffed by 64% between the two updates. It's probably necessary though because it costs 420,000 rubles. So what this does to the armor tables and the relative positions of the armors is firstly to put the Zabralo way out in front with 240 effective durability, well over double that of armors like the Slick with 114 effective. Before the update this was 170 for the Zabralo and this buff combined with the penalty reductions that we saw the other day on its move speed and ergonomics are really starting to put these mega armors back on the table in terms of usability. We'll run some ballistic simulations in just a moment to see the kinds of performance that we're looking at now after the update. The NFM Thor though with its new effective durability of 180 is now 10 more than the Zabralo's old value so it should feel about the same as this armour did previously and the Reduct T5 has once again pulled ahead of the Gen 4 full after being tied neck and neck after that one got a buff retaining its position as the number one most protective armour in class 5. I was interested to see how the Zabralo should theoretically perform now and it's looking real good. In short, you need 55 pen or higher to properly make a dent in it, otherwise the time to kill is looking really really slow. This means you need to be using 762x54R BT or above. This only leaves 12 cartridges in the whole game though, two of which are for stationary guns and some of the others are really not very accessible at all. Those that we can realistically get a hold of, i.e. not find in raid only, are 762x54R BT, BP for the VSS or the VAL, 54R SNB, 545PP Agolnik and 762 NATO's M61. Of these, BT is the only one that you can actually buy with money from Prapple 4, and 9x39 BP is barter and craft, all the rest are craft only. So 54R BT and 9x39BP are both right on the threshold of working against this armour at close ranges, with BP distributed mainly between shots 3 and 4 versus BT's most likely 3 shot kill. Even though these have the same pen value, this is a combination of the relative damage between the two bullets, plus the extra armour damage of BT which is really really high at 87% versus BP's 68 at higher penetration values than this, the rounds are either 2 or 3 shot kills always due to pretty much guaranteed penetration and so it comes down to the damage of the bullet and how quickly it can take down the thorax's 85 HP. Egolnik is a 3 hit because it's a low damage round, SNB is 2 because it's high damage. A few examples using the classically meta ammos starting with 7.62 BP shows an awful time to kill chart around 5 to 7 hits. M62 finally kills on shot 6 but this is actually due to blunt damage and the actual pen chance is still only 20% here. Even something typically assumed in our minds as an automatic armor negator like M995 is most likely a 4-6 shot and similar to 545BS as a 5-7 shot again. Using something routinely endgame but decent like M855A1 leads to the time to kill falling off the bottom of my chart, somewhere between 8-9 to nine shots depending on if a lucky penetration occurs on the final few bullets or if the blunt damage just finally gets too much. Given the beastly performance of this armour, if you're actually going to give it a try, I think it might make sense to pair it with a high-end helmet of some kind, so maybe save up your Altins and Reese T helmets that you find in Raid to run with this, as it would be a shame to get head eyes with all that protection on the rest of your body. So next up, go and check out my video on the rest of the Class 5s in patch 0.13 if you haven't already, otherwise as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.